Hello, all those that don't know me, my name is Laura and welcome back to my channel. So what we'll be discussing today is step four of the home buying process. So I made sure I wrote some things down because now we're getting into it. Well, step four, we didn't, if you looked at my previous videos, one, two, and three, I already took you through those steps. Step four, you will start to, again, scan and copy documents. This is why I said in step three, you definitely need a printer. You want to always scan and docu copy documents, and you have to send them again, again, and again, and again. On step four and on, you will need to pack your patience. Trust me, because it's going to take patience to get you through this process. Every two weeks, they're going to ask you for some more documents, which means even though you sent your pay stubs in when this process started uh, four weeks ago, and now all the paperwork is there, you have to send them stubs again. Because you've noticed every two weeks, it's going to bring you another pay stub. So basically, they check in to see if you're still working, if you're still making the type of money that you said you're making, if you're still at the same company, and... You had to pull your bank statements again because they want to check and make sure that you don't have no open loans anywhere. So this is the why. This is the why. Like I said, this is the why. They constantly pull your information, have you always scan it and send in your documents. So I say here, you have to pack your patience. Okay? On step one of this process, as they have your information, now they will be disclosing um, your information. Basically, they will send you copies of documents, and now you'll send, sign some things and view your information, make sure information is correct, your address, social security number, things like that, and then you'll send it back over to them. Um, again, it's a process. Then by the time they go through it, now on step two, you have to go to, you will go through their processor, okay? So now they have a process um, that also verifies, view, all your content, all your information, and they may, again, ask for, here again, the stubs, a copy of your um, tax return, a copy of your bank statement, what kind of assets do you have. Yes, this is an ongoing process. That's why I said you have to pack your patients because it's just going to always be the same information over and over again. And you can't send them what you sent them the first time. Why? Because now you are uh, six weeks in. So what you sent them the first time, it doesn't wash. Now they need the current ones. And this is why I say um, don't have your bank statements and things like that on paperless. Start having your bank statements come into the house so that you'll have them on hand. Because if you don't have them, then you have to go into the bank and talk with someone behind the desk. And they have to print up your uh, bank statements and all transactions. And you have to send it, you know, copy and statement and send it over. So that's the process there. Again. Those that didn't understand, pack your patience, okay? Because this is the process right here. Um, copy and scan all documents. Um, it goes to their disclosure where they will view the application and may ask you for more information. And then on step two, they have a processor will go through the same. So it's like everything just repeating. And that's all it does. Repeat, repeat, repeat. But trust and believe, I'm going to get you there to the end. You just got to follow me. But I want you to pack your patience. But as you follow these videos, you will see that I took you from step one all the way to the end of the day that you buy your home. And trust, it takes a minute to buy the home. I started with my process in December, and it is now March. And I just went to the settlement table on Friday. So this is why I'm coming with my information and the things I went through um, to get to the table. And what they don't tell you in all the other videos in reference to how to buy a home and the things you need in 2021. Be safe, be blessed, and watch the next video.